the one, the only, Ben Sion. Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian with Ben Sion. Today's daf is Pesach HaSelta, daf Ben Beis, number 42. I want to skip to the very end of today's daf. The Gemara on Ben Beis, my Beis, talks about having an intestinal problem, a disease of the intestines, IBD, um, Crohn's disease, these are types of diseases that cause you to go to the bathroom a lot. Um, in extreme cases, you know, they can really, pro, you know, basically hinder your life. Uh, you're always constantly running to the bathroom. You're always, uh, you have to constantly see the doctor, have colonoscopies and things like that. And you have to, you know, it's highly monitored and it can very much shorten your life many times if it gets worse or it gets really bad. <clears throat> So, the Gemara is talking about the warriors of Nebuchadnezzar. And the Gemara said the warriors of Nebuchadnezzar were very strong. How do you know they were strong? Because they were very strong. They needed to eat a lot. That's why they went to the bathroom a lot. So, the Gemara says maybe they went to the bathroom a lot because they were sick. They had intestinal problems. The Gemara says, no, the post is a giborim. They were strong. That's why they, they went to the bathroom a lot. So, Amar of Mari, about four lines from the bottom, Haiman who goes to the bathroom a lot, if he's not a really strong person, he's not consuming a lot of food, it's because he has. It's proof that he has intestinal problems. Why is that important? You should matriach <clears throat> yourself. You should cause yourself a tircha, a burden, through yourself. So the Arshko translates it as it tells one experience the symptom to occupy himself with finding a remedy. Now, most people would say if you have problems, you go to the bathroom too much, go to a doctor. He'll prescribe some medication for whatever disease you, he, he associate he thinks you have. Whether uh, uh, whether whether it's Crohn's disease or IBD, whatever he thinks you have, it'll cause a medication. It'll take care of your problem. That could be an explanation. The problem is the Gemara in the second Baba Kama. The Gemara says when it's talking about I believe daf, around Daf fifty Daf Nun, where the Gemara says uh, Hamosi it describes Hamosi Michaver al Avaraya. Right? Basically, it's a famous principle in Dine Mominus when someone owes you money. Right, you have to prove, right? Someone caused you damage. He owns his money, so yeah, the burden of proof is on you, in order to prove that he damaged that he damaged you or your property, in order to collect from him. You have to bring up proof, and the Gemara compares that to someone gives a, a parable, a marshal. The Gemara says, "Man the Kaliv the Bay. He has to go to the Bay Asia. He's in a lot of pain." Right, it's up to him to go to the doctor. It's not going to come to him. He has to go to the doctor and prove that he's a lot of pain and get the proper medicine. So it seems that the right way of dealing with pain, at least, is going to a doctor. So why doesn't Gemara say, "Call him I am go to the Be'asya, go to the doctor, go to someone who's going to heal you." Lishav Nafshi means he should deal with it himself. Accept the burden upon yourself. I'm not recommending not to go to a doctor. I think for most diseases you should go to a doctor. Um, and I believe the Gemara and Baba Khan is making a statement when you're in pain, right? When you're in acute pain right now, you're, you're stupid if you're not going to get some medication to stop your pain. Why should you live a life in pain? That's the opposite of what the Torah wants. The Torah wants you to enjoy this world as much as possible. When you're experiencing pain, take Advil, take here in Israel Optalgin, go to the doctor, get painkillers, stop the pain. Pain is really painful, it's not fun to be in pain. Here it's something else. When someone is calling me, I run to the bathroom a lot. It's not that painful to go to the bathroom. It's the fact that it occupies, it overtakes your life. Wherever you go, you have to find out where's the next bathroom. So <clears throat> that's something which, you know, is a tear. It's a big burden. It can put, if it's a bad case, it can really overtake your life. You're always looking where the bathroom is. You know, you can't travel in a place without a bathroom for more than, you know, 45 minutes an hour. It's ve it makes life very difficult. Before you go anywhere, you're going to the bathroom. Sometimes you force yourself to go to the bathroom because you don't want to be stuck without a bathroom. And you can't control your bowels all the time. That's another symptom for a lot of people. You can't control your bowels. So it's a big problem. You don't want to have an accident. Some people have to wear diapers, adult diapers. So it's a big problem, but the Gemara doesn't say go to the doctor. The Gemara says literal panache. Now, get busy with finding a remedy for yourself. Now, it could be the explanation is to go to a doctor. And I believe that's related to the next Gemara. The Gemara brings a totally unrelated Gemara. Quotes a Pasuk in Mishlei. 
person has a, a, a worry in his heart, Yishchena. What does it mean, Yishchena? So, two opinions. Rami Rasi, Chanamar Yishchena Midaito. Forget about it. Try to push it out of your mind. The Chanamar Yishchena Lacherem. The other opinion says, tell other people about it. If you're not worried about something, talk to other people. It'll help, <coughs> it'll help uh, calm, your, calm your worries. That's what, that's what the point is. So when you talk to other about it, it gets it out of your chest. And it's not, the other person tells you it's really not so bad, so you don't have to worry about it so much. Now, why are these Gemaras connected? So the article says they're not connected. It's just the fact that the, the Gemara quoted Machlokis between Rami and Rasi before about something else. So here also another Machlokis between Rami and Rasi. The problem is there's many Machlokis in the Gemara between Rami and Rasi. There has to be some sort of connection. I believe the connection is, is very connected. And in Rami and Rasi, you have a, <clears throat> to tell you when you're worried about something, including you have problems with, with your intestines, your bowels, what's the proper recourse? What's the best thing to do? So, according to one opinion, you see, go to a doctor, tell them about it, let them prescribe medication. The other opinion says that push it out of your mind, deal with it, basically deal with it. Now, there's different, different levels of disease, you know, someone has, some people have, you know, mild Crohn's, some people have medium to moderate, some people have severe. So it all depends on how difficult it is for life, and depends on what type of person you are. The easiest and, and best and, and most sensible way of dealing with it usually is to go to a doctor and let him prescribe medication. Um, but I believe according to one opinion, Yishchenemi Daito, the Gemara is giving you that advice, that just push it out of your mind. You have heard stories. I'm not saying go to a doctor. If you feel that's the best thing, and the sensible thing is to go to a doctor. Um, but I have heard in extreme cases, you know, where people ignored going to the doctor. There was a story I read about a big gadol. His name was um, passed away a couple of years. Oh, Vosner. When he was very young, he had a problem breathing or something like that, and he was told he'd have a problem with his lungs for many for the rest of his life, and it'd be very hard for him to breathe a very short life. And he just never went back to the doctor again. He forgot about it. Pushed it out of me, Daito. And he lived over 100 years, I think he lived like 104 years or something like that, and never affected him again. This is my principle, at least when it goes to the dentist, you know. Obviously you have a cavity, it's hurting you, you go, it's hurting you, go, but I, I don't visit the dentist. When I was growing up, my parents always talked me to the dentist on a regular basis just for a checkup. You know, I don't go for a checkup, and here in Israel it's different, I people don't go for checkups, at least in the community I live in. My wife didn't go for regular checkups to a doctor, if something bothers you, go to the doctor. But, you know, a dentist, at least, you know, I try to avoid going to the dentist because they just look for problems. And why should I bother myself? I brush my teeth twice or three times a day. And, you know, I take care of my teeth. But why should I go to a doctor? You know, the doctors find problems. And oftentimes, the Gemara says, mind the cup, it cop it all life. People who are worried about something, so doctors have an effect on you. They're, listen, I'm not saying, I'm not discrediting doctors. Doctors scientifically you know, heal things, but there are different types of alternative medicine out there. Not everyone believes in the classical system of medicine. And it could be this is the Machlokas over here with Yerami and Rasi. Do you go with the classical or do you say there is a type of alternative medicine? People that are able are able to deal with it themselves, deal with the burden of going to the bathroom all the time. Maybe, you know, if you deal with yourself and you're strong enough with yourself, Maybe in God's mercy, he'll cure you and you won't have the problem anymore. It's a possibility. Uh, but if you're a regular person, go to the doctor. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.